batch of chicks this round. Hey bird nerds, happy new year's. Hopefully everyone had a, a great new year's and uh, we got kids outside playing. It's kind of a, kind of a, a nicer cold day, I guess you could say. Debating on if I want to open up my window and let the birds go out today. Probably have a high of about 55. Um, during the daytime, that's fine for the birds. They do a good job out there, but um, hope you guys had a great New Year's. We sure did. Birds survived. Hopefully you guys' birds survived throughout the night. I know lots of people were lighting off fireworks. I do uh, put a night light in the bird shed. So even when all the lights turn off, there's just enough light that hopefully the birds can see the perches and get to where they need to be if they get startled. So just out cleaning the birds today and uh, just got done feeding them all. They're all eating their egg food and having fun. Um, and I did just check my my Amardines. We'll, uh, we'll throw the camera up there on the Amardines. Oh, my uh, male Goldian finch. He's attacking. I don't think he's attacking it, but I think he's taking out the nesting material that have the Goldian babies in there. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something about that. I want those Goldian babies to survive. Huh. Hold on one sec. This was the culprit. He was attacking the babies and trying to get them out. Probably because he's wanting to breed and he wants that nest box. So what we're gonna do, the chicks are pin, er, almost feathered up. So they probably have about five days until they fledge. So I'm gonna take this beautiful male. I'm gonna throw him in this cage. I do have two uh, female Goulians that are ready to breed so i'm hoping maybe he'll just pair up with them and uh, we can let him breed in here i do need to set up my Goulian finches for breeding i just am waiting for a few babies to come out to open up some of these bottom cages and things like that and then we can kind of go so anyways let's throw him in here there he goes And if you notice, he'll probably, he might even just go right up to a couple of my female Goulians and start singing to them. Guess that'd be the hope, right? Or they'll come to him. Or he'll just go down and start eating some egg food. He's definitely pushy, which, is a good sign that he's in uh, peak breeding condition and he wants to mate. So we'll, uh, hopefully that'll, hopefully the Goldian or Goulian pair will finish raising their babies without too much cause and disturbance to them. So we'll see. That's the, actually the, the mom of the babies and she's checking this nest out. I think she's wanting to nest again, but we need them to finish these babies first before she nests. So I did see the dad in there earlier while I was feeding the babies or feeding the birds. He was in there feeding the baby. So I'm not too concerned yet. And they had full crops, but just that one baby was out or that one male was trying to, was trying to get them all riled up and take over the nest which isn't cool but those that's that's sometimes what you face when you uh have multiple uh birds of the same species in together they take over nests and sometimes it doesn't end up well with the babies it's usually why i like to try and pair them up like these guys here um but sometimes you don't fully have that option but I think we'll uh, we'll be all right. I'll keep a close eye on the babies. Maybe we'll come back out and check them later today. Make sure they got food in their crops and they're doing all right. Make sure there's no other males trying to take over the nest and, and take kick the babies out. So the dad of the babies, he's right there. He's that white-breasted male that's getting egg food. So and he is split to blueback. So 
Hopefully we'll have uh, some good success there from him. Anyways, back to the bird. So we uh, <clears throat> just wanted to give you an update. First of all, I did want to give you an update on these guys. Uh, the Amardines, uh, they're doing really well. So both of my pairs are sitting on eggs currently. Uh, these guys laid six eggs and I just candled it today. Five of the six eggs are fertile. Um, so I'll, I'll throw a picture in right here. Thought that was pretty cool. This is my yellow headed pair. And uh, the male kind of looks red with my, my camera angle, how I have it, but he is a yellow head, um, kind of a darker yellow head, but um, really excited about these guys. I hope that we can uh, get some babies. These guys are captive bred. So that's one thing that I am really excited about. Um, and here's my, my red headed pair up here. Females sitting on the eggs. Oh, no, she just jumped out. So they've got three eggs. All three of them are fertile. They should be hatching in about four days or so. These guys, five out of six are fertile, should be hatching in about another six days or so. Like I said, both pairs are captive bred, so excited there, hoping that we'll be able to keep the babies alive. I do have mealworms on hand. I have fed them some, they don't seem to be too terribly interested in them uh, with possibly with them being captive bred. Maybe they weren't raised a whole lot on eight on live food. We'll see, but we'll definitely give them the option so that we can uh, get some, some babies, hopefully to the perch with both of these pairs. Keep the, keep the African species trying to survive here in the United States with, with the significant decrease in importation of our African finch species and really just African birds in general, so. And then I did get a couple videos of my zebras feeding their flock of babies. I call it a flock because they have seven babies that they are feeding. Four of them are shaftel babies, so you can see. There's one of the shaftel babies. That is a, a full shaftel that's not a hybrid. There's another shaftel baby up there. Um, I don't know where the other two are. They're probably sitting on top of that nest box where I can't see them, but mom and dad are in full swing feeding them. So three zebra babies and then four shaft tail babies is what we've got going on in here, which is just crazy. I, I can't believe it, but the birds are excited or I'm excited for about the birds. And they'll throw a video in here of, of the parents feeding them and getting attacked by the babies. Just thought it was really cool giving you guys that update. Also, we did, and I did take a video two days ago, so there's a chance that the other eggs have hatched as well. Uh, my silver pair of zebras, they did hatch out, I'm trying to think, I believe it was three babies of their five eggs that were fertile. Hopefully the other two have hatched out now. I'm gonna, they, they seem to be kind of a little skittish, um, which is surprising for zebra finches, so. I'm not gonna disturb her, the female is in the nest there, but I'll, I'll toss my video in right here. Got three, three cute little silver babies. Hopefully enjoyed those babies. They are pretty young. So when I took that video, they probably hatched the day before. So hopefully we'll get something there. This male down here, my black face, black breast is currently building a nest. The female doesn't seem to be a terribly interested. So I'm gonna give them another week or two. If I don't see any eggs appear in the nest, I will swap out the female so that I can get uh, this male's bloodlines uh, going and hopefully Get some black face and black breasted uh, babies uh, 
throughout, uh, probably down the road, mix them with black cheek as well so we can get that triple black, the black face, black cheek, black breast, uh, zebra finches here in the, in the aviary. I've had those once before a long time ago. I wish I wouldn't have gotten rid of them, but we'll, uh, we'll get them going. But anyways, hope you guys' birds are doing good. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the zebra finches and my Amberdeen finches. Super excited about that. The, the eggs and all the babies. Hopefully you guys' uh, New Year's have started off as well as mine. We'll see you next time.